All right, my friends, welcome back to Nerd Cheek. I've been asked on this episode of Nerd Cheek to do a tutorial explaining how to send both your desktop and your sound through a Zoom um, on a Chromebook. And that is a little bit more challenging. Um, this came from a request from someone on YouTube, one of our viewers, subscribers, that asked for this tutorial. You can also ask for tutorials yourself. So let's walk through this. The first thing is on you're seeing on the new software on the Zoom Chrome, I mean the Zoom for Chromebook, that your your stuff has changed just a little bit. I mean it's pretty much the same, but it's changed just a little. You've got all your info down here, and then you've got settings up here as well. Um, but the first thing you've got to do is unmute. So you're going to unmute yourself and that's so that your mic can pick up the audio and send it back through the system. Because when you do your screen share, if you are playing a video on your screen like I'm about to show you, I'm gonna play a YouTube on my screen. When you play that YouTube video and you're broadcasting it through the screen, it's actually gonna come through your speakers and then pick up on your mic. Make sure you're unmuted. You have to be unmuted, but at the same time realize this, when that video plays, everything that's around the microphone on this computer is gonna be captured. So you need extremely quiet around your um, computer and then have this unmuted. And then of course you're gonna share, you're gonna choose the application that you want. Mine is right here, I've already got it open. It's a YouTube video in Chrome and I'm gonna share this. And now this is what people are seeing. They're seeing this page, nothing else but just this page in here. And then what I have to do is turn on the video and, and I have to have it turned up. On the website, so this is .us. And Log now there. it's actually and playing you want to be able to out loud in the room. Local recording and at the same time, the audio is now going through the mic. Using so understand this. It's coming you really from your speakers, you need to make going sure through your mic, and then it's and broadcasting so can, out. So again, this can be really challenging because there's a lot of different things that can happen. And so I just want to encourage you, number one, get into a very quiet place. Uh, number two, make sure that you've got your sound turned up as much as you can um, without it making popping noises or whatever. And then number three, you know, make sure your mute is turned off so that you can hear. See, it's gonna pick up my sound from my screen. Last thing, go out there and test this over and over and over with a friend before you do a live presentation. Don't just hop on a video and think, I'm gonna do this live. Test it, practice, ask your friend how it sounds, get someone to log in and test it out, and then go live with your broadcast. That's what we do, it's more professional. Make sure you've got it down first. If you're doing a Chromebook, this is challenging, but it can be done, okay? All right, thanks for tuning in to Nerd Cheek. If you've got any other requests um, for anything, just tell us right here in the comments, reach out, and don't forget to subscribe.